Hey, it's Chris from NeedRaiseBake.com. Today I wanted to do a little test so that I could see with my own eyes how salt impacts the rate at which dough will rise, or to put another way, how it impacts yeast and the fermentation process. So what we have here is a basic dough from a basic bread recipe that I cut down to 100 grams flour and kept everything equivalent for the baker's percentage. So I have one that has 0% salt that right out of the gates has done the best out of all of them, which we would expect it to. And then 2% is kind of the upper level of what bread recipes call for. Most bakers will tell you for hundreds if not thousands of years that once you go over 2% salt, you start to see a negative impact on your growth rate. It just gets too slow. And in fact, once you go over, some folks say over 8%, you're going to kill off yeast altogether. So uh, I did a 2%. I did 6% to see just how much it could do and while keeping it under that 8%. Then I went with the 12% to see if I could actually see yeast completely killed off. Uh, I did this for about eight hours. So we're tracking this over the course of eight hours. We're probably at about six hours in at this point, maybe five or six hours in. And you can see the 6% is, is rising. It's never really going to get all the way up to match where zero was. But the 12% is interesting. You can see some bubbles, a little bit of activity, but certainly this dough is not rising. For the full breakdown of this test, visit our blog, kneadrisebake.com, or check out the link in the description below.